Hello, my friends. This is Wendy with Love Stampin'. I am so happy that you're here with me today. I'm just really excited about today's card. Um, we have two samples to show you. We're just gonna make one, but I have another sample to show you and I just cannot wait to share. So before we get started, I wanna remind you that tomorrow, April 27th, 2022, is the last day to place an order of $40 or more using this host code to get a pack of the Rhinestone Waves Basic Jewels for free. Now you can't get these from Stampin' Up! anymore, but I have plenty of them, and I'm going to be sending them to anybody who places a $40 order or more online by tomorrow using this host code. The host code is linked in the description below this video, and there's also an online shopping link linked below this video, along with a link to my blog under measurements and supplies, which will give you the supplies we use today with the exception of the new product. And we'll talk about that in a minute. And there is a free project sheet there for you. So you can print that off and keep it forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Next up, I want to talk about the new in color, new in color, new designer series papers and my paper party retreat. So my paper party retreat will be in June. However, signups are happening now. You only have until May 2nd to sign up and pay for the retreat. So we are already over half capacity. What's going to happen in the next week is more emails will go out. I promise you I'm going to end up at capacity because I usually always do. And then I'm going to have people asking me if they can squeak in. So if you want to be part of the paper party retreat for the summer, which you're going to love, it's June 24th and 25th. It's in a special exclusive Facebook group just for that paper party. And when you join that Facebook group, you get to be part of all kinds of fun stuff. You're going to get kits along with all of the designer series paper that are available on May 3rd. Now, due to the global situation with shipping and all the other stuff, there it's possible there could be a designer series paper that's not available on May 3rd for me to order. If that happens, you will not get that, but you will get something to replace it. So maybe an extra embellishment or extra goodie in your bag or something like that. So if, and hopefully they will all be available, there's 13 of them. I only have four here in front of me, but there are 13 packs of six by six designer series paper. Every one of them will have a card kit and a video and PDFs for you to create cards with. So please, you're gonna love it. It's so much fun. Make sure you sign up for it. It's one of the only events it, my paper party retreats are the only event I still have that's a mail to you kit in the mail type event. Also today, if you place an order $35 or more, you're going to get my April online card class free. You can either purchase it for $35 or you can uh, place a $35 order and get it for free. And there will be more information for, about that provided on my blog. Um, actually, I don't know if I put it on my blog. I think paper party info is on my blog today. My online card class information will go out later. But anyways, that's an option as well. Okay. So enough advertisements. I just have to tell you guys about all the things that are going on or else you won't know. And then somebody inevitably gets upset with me because they didn't get uh, in on my paper party or my online class or, you know, free rhinestones or whatever I have going on. So let's get started with our project. We are going to be using the Stylish Shapes dies. These are new dies that you're going to find in the May 3rd product release with Stampin' Up, the brand new catalog. So if you already have a catalog, which most of my customers should, I've mailed them all, Stampin' Up has shipped them. So if you haven't gotten your catalog yet, um, hopefully it'll be there anytime. And this is one of the must haves for me in the new catalog. We've got stitched squares, stitched circles, and then these banner pieces for greetings. I love these dies. So this was on my very first order when I could pre-order. I was so thankful they had it as a pre-order item, but these are just really good all around, super versatile, basic craft room supply, in my opinion. 
And then I've got the Brood For You bundle. Now we're using this bundle today. It's a brand new bundle. You can purchase it May 3rd if you're a customer. If you're a demonstrator, you're already able to pre-order this. But this bundle, I think, is so fun and cute for um, that favorite you know, somebody in your life who's a beer drinker type. My husband's a big beer drinker. He enjoys beer. So this was perfect for me to have. However, I thought you can do lots of things with this. You could turn this into a milk jug. You could turn this glass here into soda pop. You could turn this into a root beer float. Um, this could be like a cider. So if you're not a alcohol drinker or if somebody that you want to give a card to, maybe they like apple cider uh, or they're a big fall fanatic, you could do something really cute with this with like making it like apple cider with some sort of apples or something stamped on. So there's lots of options for this. I think it's just easy to only see it as beer and wine type uh, set, but I think you could use it for a lot of other things. So today we are gonna use it in the realm of beer because I was tasked with making 16 of these for an upcoming card swap. Now, every single time I talk about a card swap, I get flooded with emails, comments, questions. How do I get involved in a card swap? Here's the deal. This is kind of a sacred Stampin' Up! demonstrator thing. So if you want to be, um, involved in card swaps, I recommend purchasing the starter kit and being a demonstrator. My uh, team does a swap with each, uh, I have a swap coordinator. So with the release of each new catalog, we do a swap. And then I'm involved in other swaps with other demonstrators. There's tons of them out there and available, but what, from what I've seen, they're predominantly demonstrator based. They have lots of rules that you have to follow to make sure that everybody gets a nice swap, but they are so fun. So if you don't know what a card swap is, essentially you make multiples of one type of card, one style of card, and then you mail it into somebody, everybody mails their cards in, and then the person swaps all the cards out and you receive back in the mail several different cards with different products, which is so much fun. So we're gonna start out here today. This is Starry Sky. This is a new in color from Stampin' Up! that will be available on May 3rd. And this piece of Starry Sky is cut at five and a half by 11 inches. So we're going to score it at three and three eighths from each end of the cardstock on the landscape side. So what I do is just flip it around and do the other side. Do not worry about writing your measurements down for this card because what I'm telling you here, I've made it for you. All you have to do is click that link in the description below this video. It says measurements and supplies. Click that link. It's going to take you to my blog and there is a free project sheet there with photos and measurements for you and instructions. So you'll have no problem putting this together. So I've scored it three and three eighths from each side and now I'm just going to do my marks to cut away some pieces. So I've got my handy dandy T-square ruler. Uh, if you go to the link below my video that says Amazon craft store, you will find this listed there. I get asked about my T-square ruler often and it is an essential in my craft room. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend purchasing one. They're very inexpensive and they are handy to have around. So I'm lining my T-square ruler up with the edge of my cardstock. I'm gonna take my pencil and mark at one inch. I'm gonna go over to the other side of my cardstock. This is gonna be the top of the card and I'm going to make a one inch mark there as well. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to come in one inch and make a mark. And I'm going to go one inch from this edge at the bottom and make a mark. Very, very, very simple, okay? So we're doing, on the landscape side, scoring it three, three, three and three eighths of an inch from each side, one inch down, one inch in at the bottom, okay? 
Then your first cuts that you want to make, I love the Stampin' Trimmer because it's just perfect for doing this kind of stuff. We are going to cut from the score mark here over to this pencil mark, this one inch pencil mark. So it's hard to see on camera because of course I chose a dark colored cardstock to do this, but you can rest assured we are scoring from or cutting from this score line here out to that one inch mark. And then we're gonna repeat the exact same thing on the other side of the card. Hopefully you guys can see this. Now for those who are new, while I'm doing my cutting, in case you're new here and you're like, why isn't this lady responding to any of our comments? It is because I am not capable of making a card that has any sort of measurements and chit chatting with you at the same time. So um, I try to get through my project, make my project, and then at the end, we can have chit chat time which we do and we enjoy, don't we friends? Okay, I do appreciate everybody who gives me a thumbs up on the video. There's a little button where you can click a thumbs up and there's also the option to subscribe and share this video. So I just wanna say thank you so much for all of you that do that for me. Okay, I, we're gonna now cut from this mark at the bottom to this little corner piece we've made here. So this is gonna create our fun angled edge for our card. Now, if you've seen this card made before, lots of times, because it's been around for a while, the angle trifold card, then I'm super happy you're here hanging out with me to see it done again. Um, you know, it's always fun to see stuff done different ways and multiple times, I think. Okay, so we've got two pieces of the sun print designer series paper here. These are cut at three and a quarter of an inch by five and a quarter of an inch. We are going to do exactly the same thing on these that we did on our piece of cardstock. We're just gonna do them on opposite ends, right? Because we have this is gonna be facing two separate ways. So here, we're gonna start with our first one and we're going to mark one inch. And remember, you wanna keep it on the same side, okay? So we're going one inch from the top. Get out of here, papers. One inch from the bottom. And then on this one, we're gonna do an opposite side. So we're gonna go one inch from the top. One inch at the bottom. And then we're gonna do our trimming just like we did on the card base. Okay, so we're gonna cut from that corner to the tick mark. And do the exact same over here. And pray that I've done this correctly, even though I've made this card like, I don't know, 15 times now. <laughs> Um, all right, I wanna make sure we've done it correctly. I, I know we have. All right, we're gonna bring in our card base and fold to the center. Use our bone folder to burnish that edge. I do get asked a lot about this bone folder. It is a Stampin' Up! bone folder, but on the other side it says, I am a lovely stamper. This is engraved. This is special bone folders for my team. So people who are part of the Lovely Stampers team, they get one of these when they hit a certain uh, milestone. Okay, now we just have to glue our stuff in place. So this, you might wanna have the tendency to try to center it. No, we're not gonna center it. We're going to butt this, up at, this edge up to our score line edge, all the way flush, okay? So, I'm gonna bring my Stampin' Sill Plus in here. <clears throat> you could use your Tombow glue if you wanted to, uh, whatever you have that, that you like to use for your adhesive. Okay, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing 
on this side. Okay, so we'll lay it open like that. I just find that it's easier to get your designer series paper butted up how you want it. Um, when you have it laying open. There is that. And now we have our pieces there. So the next thing is I wanna create my belly band. So this piece here is cut at one inch by nine inches. And what I find the easiest way to do a belly band is to line your card stock, up, card stock card base up on a grid line. So we're gonna butt it right up to that line there, okay? The reason that this is important, let me talk about this for just a minute. The reason that this is important to get this lined up nicely is because you're also gonna line up your belly band nicely. If your belly band is askew and you wrap it, it's going to be offset. It's not gonna wrap correctly. So what the best policy is, if you have fumble fingers, if you struggle, take some post-it note tape. It's this stuff right here. Again, linked in the description below the video under my Amazon craft store. So if you want some of this, it's there. You're going to use a grid mat of whatever kind you have. I'm gonna use this removable post-it note tape and I'm gonna tape down my card base with my belly band underneath. It can still move freely. And then it really doesn't matter where you wrap it, okay? Because it's not gonna stay in that spot. But what does matter is that you've got this lined up and nice and square. This needs to be lined up nice and square. So you're gonna line your belly band up onto another grid line, okay? So I'm gonna go right below this blue grid line. And if you don't have one of these self-healing mats to do your crafting on, again, linked below the video, so you can get one there. Then I like to hold my card base down, which is holding this in place as well, okay? And then I wrap. Now, here's the key piece to this. You don't wanna pull real tight and push down real tight. You just want a nice, soft wrap. Why? because if you do it too tight, it will not slide up and down on your card base. And that, my friends, creates a real problem. So you really want it to slide well over your card base, okay? Now this only overlaps by about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't leave a whole lot of room for adhesive. If you want to make your belly band longer so it overlaps a little bit later or long more, that's fine, but I don't prefer that. I don't want the bulk. So I'm gonna take and add my stamp and seal and I'm adding it so that, I don't know if you can see this, half of it is kind of hanging off because this is a little bit wider than a quarter of an inch. So if I were to glue it so that it went all the way over, when I close it, this side is gonna stick to my card base and I don't want that to happen. So I've glued just half and then I just take my finger and I roll it, that easy. You just roll the adhesive that's extra over and it's no big deal. Then we're just gonna line these guys up and glue them down and you're done. So then you can remove your post-it note tape and you've got a beautiful belly band that slides perfectly. That's really important to me. I like my belly bands to slide nicely. Then we have a piece of three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter piece of the Sunny Days. I think it's called Sunny Days or Sunlight something. I don't know. Guys, I'm still learning the names of all the papers, so hang with me. We're gonna use this to go over that, like so. And then we're bringing in one of those stitched uh, circles from those stylish shapes dies that we used. These will be available May 3rd, so don't forget May 3rd on those if you're a customer. We're going to use the O L Yes stamp set, which I think is just so very punny, isn't it punny? And we're gonna stamp it off to the side of this circle. Beautiful, I love the Starry Sky uh, ink. It is gorgeous. So then, 
you're gonna grab a scrap piece of basic white. I like to use the thick. So this is a little known thing. I don't know if you know this, you may not, but I only exclusively use basic white thick cardstock. I don't like the thinner cardstock, um, the, the regular basic white. It's not that I don't like the basic white because basic white is basic white, right? But I don't like how thin it is. I like the substance behind the basic white thick. Um, I just prefer it. So it is a little bit more expensive and you may find that, you know, with foregoing the thick is a little bit more in your price range. I don't know, but for me personally, with the quality of craftsman, craftsmanship that it provides, I'm very, very happy with it. Okay, so we're gonna use, oh, I've gotta grab my right ink pad here. We're gonna use Cajun Craze to create that, um, this beer, which is what I think of when I think of an amber ale would be, um, oh, I need to re-ink my Cajun craze. That's better. Let's set this, I'm gonna set this aside open so I remember to re-ink it. Okay, and then we've got crushed curry. And you don't have to use these colors, you could use, any colors that make you happy. You could use an early espresso to make like a root beer color. This one also needs, it's like really inky in some spots and not, see, I re-inked this the other day, but I did it too quick and I just, so FYI, when you're re-inking your ink pads, try to take your time and do it very evenly. Mush the ink around really good with a spoon, the back of a spoon. Um, I did not do that with this one, and that's why you get this. It's very inky in certain areas and not inky in others, so then you end up with this, which in this case, because it's a beer, it's not a big deal, but if I was stamping something else, I would want a more even coverage and not have it be like that. So just a tip for you. See, I do these things just so I can help you be a better stamper, right? <laughs> that's why I make mistakes. All right. Let's turn my little mini machine around here, my pebble, I like to call it. And we are going to use the coordinating dies to cut these beer glasses out. And then using that post-it note tape from earlier, tearing it down so it's a little smaller. We're gonna tape this guy. All right, and then we'll just run it through. And now we're gonna pull our card together. So I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals. And I like putting them right on the belly band to make sure I kind of line things up as best as possible. And then we're gonna add our beers. Okay. And going right back to those dimensionals, I just love them. I don't think I can create a card without dimension. I'm just gonna tell you right now. It's very difficult for me. So for this one, we're gonna add a little adhesive at the bottom. We've got our dimensional there and we're gonna add it just like that. So it's stacked up on top of each other. And that is our card. Now this one, I added the, the piece inside, which I would recommend that you do. And I will do that with this one. I just, 
forgot to, to cut the stuff for the inside. So the swap that I'm part of requires you to do something inside the card. So I just think this is so cute. So the front says, uh, oh, L yes. And then you slide it off and open it up. Another round for your birthday. Super cute, super cute and fun. So you notice that the designer series paper is different on these. I just used the same designer series paper, just different prints. So that's the only difference. They're just different prints. And I just love how these turned out. So cute. Now, I couldn't stop at just one. I had to make another one that I think you're going to love. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I used the new Tea Boutique suite of products. So this is the designer series paper, the T designer series paper, which is this again, next week, guys, next Tuesday. And we're going to talk a little bit about next Tuesday also. So stay tuned because I have big plans. Um, but look at this paper. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, it is just beautiful. So you get this paper, which is comes in a six by six pack. Okay. And then the bundle, let me grab it. The bundle is part of the suite of products also. So you get all of these with the die cuts. So here I've used the layering circle dies to cut my scallop circle and my layer here. And then I just sat and had the most splendid time stamping all these little images and, and die cutting them and putting them all together. And then I used those gorgeous iridescent rhinestones in the middle of my flowers. And then for the tag, I punched a little bitty hole because it, it, the tag doesn't punch a hole, but I punched a little bitty hole after I did my stamping. I ran my Playful Pets Baker uh, Baker's Twine, which probably, I don't know if that's going to still be in the catalog or not. I I'll be honest, I haven't paid attention to the ribbon situation. I need to clean out my ribbon. <laughs> but if you don't have it, get it if it's not already sold out. Anyway, I just looped it right over and taped it to the back of this little T, okay? Then you just pull this belly band off and you open it and then look at the inside. It's a thank you card and it has the extra little stamping on the inside, which I think just takes the card to the next level. Now, in this suite, um, also includes these, okay? It comes with 20 cards and envelopes for you to create projects with. So I thought, yes, these are supposed to coordinate together. However, I thought how sweet would it be to send this card in this envelope, right? You don't have to, I think it'll fit. I'm pretty sure they're just standard envelopes. We're gonna find out. Yeah, it's a little tight, but it fits. So you don't have to use these envelopes with these card bases if you don't want to. You could use one of these card bases with the regular card, or a regular envelope. So I just think that this together is so pretty. You could also take and stamp a plain envelope to match your card, of course, that's always an option. But I just thought as a quick and easy thing, I've already put a lot of effort into the card, let me just grab one of these envelopes and pair it together and I'd be done. And I think it's brilliant, it's so beautiful. So that uses the new Sweet Sorbet uh, in color, which is gorgeous. Again, It'll be available next Tuesday, May 3rd. Tuesday, May 3rd. So while we're talking about Tuesday, May 3rd, I want to mention that um, I am gonna be doing mega giveaways, okay? So mark your calendar next week for YouTube Live, 12 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time here. Same time, same place. We are gonna do a catalog walkthrough. We're gonna do giveaways. We are gonna have a blast. So plan your day, plan your time with me to be a little bit longer than normal and um, mark your calendar for that. Now, in addition to that, 
I'm gonna be going live in my customer VIP Facebook group at 5 p.m. on May 3rd. So if you are a customer of mine, you're gonna get me twice that day. You'll get me at noon here, and then 5 p.m. in my exclusive VIP Facebook group. And that is where we're gonna do insane giveaways. I'm not even kidding, I have a mini stamp and cut and emboss machine to give away. So here is your hint for May 3rd, okay? Because you're here, you're listening, here's your hint. Order early. Get online the mon mon uh, Tuesday, May 3rd, put in your order with me, and Trust me when I say that's going to benefit you a lot when it comes to the giveaways. Now, the, it's not a requirement, okay? It's, it's actually against the law for me to require you to order with me to do a giveaway. I cannot do that. Um, so you don't have to place an order, but it will bode in your favor for the VIP event, okay? So that's just a tip. Get your order in nice and early Monday, uh, Tuesday, May 3rd. I keep seeing Monday. Tuesday, May 3rd. Okay. So that's the projects for today. Now, I do have a couple of other things. I have random acts of kindness cards that I want to show you guys. Um, these are cards that I have received in the mail and they are so beautiful. I always feel like they need screen time. So this one comes from Emily Sherrard. She has been a customer of mine and been a team member and gone back to being a customer, which is very uh, normal and acceptable. We don't have everybody join and stay. Some people join for a period of time, for a season, and then they go back to being a customer. And it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, as long as you're hanging out with me and, and stamping with me and doing things with me, I am happy. So this is from her and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's just a really sweet card. This is an Easter card that is so beautiful from my friend Marsha. She is on my team and I just love this bunny. You know, this bunny's only going to be around until I think the end of May and then you won't be able to get it anymore. So if you do like this set, it's one that you'd want to add to a future order. This is from Karen. So this is gorgeous. I love how she embossed the background. So I'm guessing she stamped first and then embossed the background and it just has all this really cool texture. So beautiful. Thank you, Karen. This one is from Beth Eisk. I'm not sure how to say her last name. Love this one. And she did the same technique as here. So she did, um, actually this might be yeah, she did stamping and then she uh, ran it through an embossing folder. Beautiful. Okay, this is another Easter card, which is so pretty from Miss Deborah. Miss Deborah made this one for me. For those of you who don't know Miss Deborah, she is the one that is responsible for getting all of your customer thank you cards made. Um, she's the one that's responsible for helping me get all of the paper party kits cut, prepped, and shipped. If I didn't have Miss Deborah, I would be up a creek. So I hope you all adore Miss Deborah. Um, this is from Cindy Rodman. So Cindy is such a sweet lady. It's an Easter card. And she sent a picture of her and her husband. This was on their 35th anniversary. And look at this card she made me. Isn't that something? So beautiful. So it pops up in the center. Now I have thought, ooh, I need to figure out how to make this. Now I know out there on the market somewhere there's a die to do this, but I don't need no stinking die. We're gonna figure out how to make this a base. I bet somebody has already figured it out. Anyway, it's super cute. And I am so grateful that she sent it to me. So there's that. This one is from Francis. I wanna say Hofton. It's an Easter card, and it's made with that old set we used to have. Um, it was Brandy Cox's Million Dollar Set. I can't remember the name of the set now. Anyways, beautiful card, and inside she has included a note for me, and he is risen, and it is just beautiful. So I wanted to share these with you guys um, because I just love getting them in the mail. I love it when somebody sends me... Uh, a card in the mail. Okay. I feel like there was something else I was going to show you, but maybe not. 
Here's your cards for today. Again, if you need the instructions on how to make this cut, you can substitute any papers out that you want to, obviously. Um, but you can die cut this, or die cut this. You can cut this and um, make it any way you want. And there's a free project sheet over on my blog. Let me grab my iPad in case anybody has any questions for me. I am happy to answer them. If my iPad will turn on, maybe it will not. Okay, we will look at the chat. How early can we order on Tuesday, May 3rd? Like three o'clock in the morning, Jean. <laughs> Very early. Love giveaways, great cards. Missed where cards come from. Shape reminds me of women wrap Mother's Day as a belt. Oh, that's very sweet. Yes, that is a great idea. Love, love, love this beer card. Cute, sweet, super cute cards. I wasn't a fan of the tea set, but I'm definitely warming to it now. Oh, I love it when I have that happen. Ah, oh, you guys are so awesome. Hello, hello, everybody. So good to see you here. Missouri, Florida, New York. Maryland, North Carolina. Kathy knows a lot of beer drinkers, including herself. So she definitely has this bundle. I'm sure of it. Kathy's one of my team members. Uh, California, Texas, Pennsylvania. Hi, Bev. Hi, Teresa, Loretta, Deborah, Jean, Renee. Oh, yay. Renee is getting to craft today. Southern Colorado, Illinois. Wow, we've got people from all over the globe. Texas, Texas. I love it. Thank you, Indiana. So, um, set your alarm, Jean. You really do not have to get up at three o'clock in the morning. All I'm going to say is you want to order before 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Okay? There'll be more information coming out about it. But this is just my little heads up so you can mark your... Oh, we've got UK, Maine... Manitoba, Toronto, Idaho, Washington. Oh, I love it. Explain again about May 3rd. Okay, May 3rd is the launch and release of Stampin' Up's new annual catalog. So beginning on May 3rd, you'll be able to place orders for products like this that are not available right now. I will be doing a live event here like normal on Tuesday, May 3rd at 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time with all of you where we'll walk through the new catalog, we'll talk about a few things, we'll have projects, we're going to have a great time, and I'm going to have giveaways. At 5 p.m. on May 3rd, uh, I am going to go live in my exclusive VIP customer Facebook group for a catalog launch party. We're going to hang out, make some projects, and I'm going to have massive, massive giveaways. So if you're not already part of my VIP Facebook group and you want to be part of it, the only way you can be part of it is to place an order with me. Um, and then that gets you access into the group for three months. So basically you have to order from me at least every three months to remain in that group. We actually, every three months, we actually go through and remove people from the group who have not ordered within the three month time frame. So if you want to be in that group and you haven't ordered from me in a while, make sure you order and get added back in. If you are already in the group, but you haven't ordered from me in a while, you could get chopped before <laughs> beforehand. We don't, we're gonna, I think we'll probably, uh, sometime in May is going to be when we remove people. Yep, an order this month counts, absolutely. So it's just within a three-month period. So if you've ordered three months prior to today, then you get to be in that group. If, you're, if you haven't, then you don't get to be in the group. It's just an exclusive VIP benefit for people who order from me. Jean asked, what time is the VIP party on May 3rd? It is at 5 p.m., Pacific Daylight Time, which is 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 7 p.m. Central Time, and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're on the East Coast, it's a little late for you, and I apologize for that, but that kind of seems to be the time frame that is the best for most people. Uh, 
I followed your channel for a long time now and love the cards you make and Saturday story time. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, you you guys better get ready for uh, quite a story this Saturday. I'm just going to say. I've got a big one. So, um, you know, it's got a little of everything. It's got some laughter. It's got some sadness. It's got all the pieces. All the pieces and parts. I think you're really going to love it. So, um, it's a good story time. But I have it. I have it uh, ready for you. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, if you want to be part of that uh, paper party, make sure that you sign up at the link below the video. It's $109 for the basic paper party retreat package. 13 packs of designer series paper with card kits. It's That is included in a $50 uh, goodie bag and uh, product goodie bag. And until tomorrow, April 27th, when you place a $40 online order, you can get these rhinestones for free from me. And thank you to everybody who has already ordered this month. I really appreciate you. You have absolutely no idea how much I appreciate your orders. It's how I earn a living. And it is a blessing to me every time you put in an order. It, it actually affects, you know, I love it when people order with a demonstrator because you are truly impacting that person's life. And not only that person's life, but the people that they serve in their life. So my family, my church, my community, anybody I pour out to financially um, also gets affected. So it's, you know, when you order small, you order with somebody like a representative like myself, you are a, you're starting a tiny ripple that then moves out very big. So it's very, very appreciated when you do that. I do already have the paper party retreat bags for summer. They are so cute. I really love them. And um, I think you're going to love them too. So I had them special made and they're beautiful. And I'm hoping very soon I'll be getting the enamel pins. So everybody who gets to be part or who participates in the paper party retreat for the summer is going to get a special bag and a pin, an enamel pin. So you'll love it. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you next week. Same time, same place to have the most fun ever. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.